So guys, this is a big one. This is undoubtedly the biggest user experience update we are ever going to see in our Tesla vehicles. Grok is going to change the way we interact with our cars, how we move upon our daily schedule, and more importantly, how it's going to tie in with the future robo-taxi service. In early 2023, China received a regionally locked smart assistant capable of handling basic tasks. This assistant had a voice of its own and was able to communicate naturally without having to hold down a button. Originally, it was thought that this would roll out globally, but it seems Tesla had other plans keeping this version exclusive to just the Chinese market. Now, the time has finally come and Grok is set to replace Tesla's current voice commands, a change Elon has confirmed multiple times, including one of his gaming live streams. According to Elon, you'll be able to talk to your Tesla and ask it for practically anything, much like Grok on the web or on your phone, Grok and your Tesla will be able to fetch data, make recommendations, and adjust settings on the fly. The best part of it all is that all vehicles are expected to benefit from Grok as all the heavy processing is done server side and not in your vehicles. This means that we'll continue to improve over time even without requiring software updates. Moving forward to early January of this year, Elon once again teased about this upgrade coming to all of our Teslas. And now the time has finally come as Green the Only has spotted multiple references to Grok AI in the internal codes, including a dozen of icon for unique Grok personalities. Some of these new findings include a language tutor, a doctor, kid stories, meditation, motivation, and even the unhinged mode. Each personality comes with its own icons to pick from, but in this pre-release state, there are still no labels included. Now, it's also worth pointing out that based on observations, Green has mentioned that he believes Grok will only be available on newer vehicles equipped with the Ryzen processor. However, even with that in mind, this isn't a hard confirmation just yet, since Elon had previously stated that Grok will be supported on all Tesla vehicles with everything handled in the cloud and all data processed externally. It's also worth noting that Grok's full functionality may rely on Tesla's premium connectivity, meaning that a stable connection is likely essential. So if you're in the area with weak signal, the system could experience intermittent limitations. All right, so now that we have all the basics out of the way and we get a rough idea of what Tesla plans to do with Grok integration, let's take a look at the first preview of what the UI is going to look like and how Grok is going to completely change our user experience with owning a Tesla. Looking back to the discovery from earlier in the year where multiple references of Grok AI was found in the internal codes with icons to follow, there were some additional Grok related details that Green had full access to for months but chose not to share. In a post on X just yesterday, he decided that it was finally the right time to release some long awaited Grok goodies to the public. Green not only pulled assets from the latest 2025.20 software update, but also managed to get Grok fully functional and running in his car. He shared several images on X, including what appears to be a new dedicated Grok app icon in the vehicle's app drawer. While the app icon itself doesn't directly match any of the UI screenshots he posted, it closely resembles the Grok app we've seen on other devices, so we can expect it to open up into a full screen UI with access to a much wider range of features. As for the main integration, it looks like Tesla plans to completely replace the current voice command card with a new Grok powered interface. During the initial setup, you'll see a screen prompting you to link your service by scanning a QR code and signing into your Grok account. After that, the system will either notify you that premium connectivity is required, asking you to connect to Wi-Fi or upgrade, or if all conditions are met, it'll jump straight into the main Grok interface, fully active and ready to listen. Green has confirmed that anytime you are on the Grok screen, the system automatically starts listening, transcribing, and responding. This behavior kicks in every time you click the voice button on the steering wheel, once to activate it, and once again to turn it off. So far, it looks like users will be able to choose from three different voice modes, Era, Rex, and Gork, along with some additional customization options mode for designing your personalized experience. Now, with plans to eventually integrate Grok into the RoboTaxi service, allowing customers to speak naturally as soon as they step inside, Tesla is aiming to include a wake word to activate Grok hands-free. However, in the current pre-release version, that feature appears to be disabled and activation still requires pressing a button on the steering wheel or on the display. As for the technicals, Green confirmed that any vehicles equipped with the Ryzen processor will support Grok, including those running hardware 3 full self-driving computers. 
However, vehicles with older Intel chips may be left out as Tesla is no longer prioritizing updates to those systems. That said, Elon previously mentioned that Grok runs server-side and most of the processing happens on the cloud. There shouldn't be a major barrier to bring it to older vehicles unless visual interface proves too demanding for Intel-based systems to handle. And then last but not least, while there's still no official launch date yet, recent codes suggest a rollout is planned for the summer, meaning the feature could go live any day now, especially with Tesla summer update just around the corner. Alright guys, so this has to be one of the most exciting updates we've ever had. If you haven't experienced Grok yet, you're definitely missing out. This is going to be so well put together for Tesla vehicles. Once it arrives, you jump in your car, Grok greets you, you tell it where to go, and then you're completely off. Then of course for the RoboTaxi service and how all of this is going to work, you'll be able to talk to it just as naturally as you can talk to anyone else. You'll be able to give it recommendations, it giving you recommendations, suggestions, what to do, where to go, and you can ask it a bunch of complex things that you can experience in your phones right now. This is going to completely change the world of driving and I think this is going to be the best thing that Tesla has ever pushed onto any software update they've ever given us in the previous years before. Now, of course, more importantly for us watching this video now, this is gonna be for our cars and what's gonna make it so cool is this is just the beginning of it all. We are going to get full integration into the car when Tesla starts to tie the entire ecosystem together. This means that it's going to be able to navigate you while letting you know traffic on the route is going to be able to set climate control. It's going to be able to let you know how things are happening on the inside and outside of your vehicle. Now, just off of my mind here, the perfect thing that Grok is going to bring to our personally owned vehicles is letting us know the perfect time to charge and the location, meaning that you'll be able to ask it exactly where you're gonna go when it's going to get there with the state of charge and where to charge next. You can get the whole shebang just by asking a simple question. It's gonna be able to work from top to bottom. Your entire itinerary is going to be able to get you to your destination without a single hiccup. That is just one out of the many things to come. There's going to be so much untapped potential once Tesla starts integrating AI into our cars. So yeah, there you have it. I am just as excited, if not even more, excited than anything that Tesla has announced in the last couple of weeks and anything planned for the future here. I think this is going to be the biggest change we are ever going to see in our cars. And I know I'm just way overhyped for everything, but I feel that a lot of you are on the same boat here. Can't wait to see it happen. I will continue to keep an eye out on everything that comes up, especially this once it rolls out. But this is our first preview of Grok integrated into our cars. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the subscribe, that bell notification. Follow me on X at hey John E Over there, we can chat. You guys can DM me, see the things that you wouldn't see here. This is it. This is John once again. Peace out.